It's your girl Joe VE with R&B Only here at Invest Fest 2024, and I'm just asking. Yandy Smith Harris. With Jim Jones. It's Terrence J himself. Lecrae here. Raw with the sauce, man. Four Minds, Lex P, Andrea Nicole. Kenny Burns. Larry Morrow. Madam Joyce. Selena Hill. What's your favorite song to sing in the shower? Throw away your love letter. Don't it make me feel better? I finally got you out my bed, but I still can't get you out my head. Even though I hate to leave you, though I cry as I walk out the door. Feeling it. You're supposed oh. to say the door I cry temptate them stop come and talk to me absolutely like it's gonna be anything about Jodeci Jodeci just the crooning the yearning I'll be wanting my wife to know like I need you like baby I'm sorry you know that's Drew Hill but you know what I'm saying you gotta have some gravel in your throat so she knows you in pain I don't sing in this hour does it have to be R&B read the mic Okay. R&B only. This might be crazy, but I want to be down by Brandy. I want to be down. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to sing it. That's the boy in the shower. Life by Casey and JoJo is my favorite song. It's one of the best songs. I don't know who composed that. Maybe Beethoven himself. But Case, Missing You is one of my favorite R&B songs. For me, it's Usher. Confession. The whole album. You know, I've been listening to that um, photograph soundtrack. The movie with Issa Rae? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a vibe. I've been singing a lot in the shower. I will say like Omele is, he's an R&B, Afrobeat hybrid. You know who else? That uh, Odile? Sosa. Sosa. Can I just say shout out to British R&B, shout out to Gabzi, shout out to J.O., shout out to Odile. I'll probably do Monica So Gone. Over you, you, new Monica. <laughs> New school R&B versus old school R&B, which way are you going? Old school all day, all day. I'm an 80s baby. Oh, this is when we had poetry on the mic. They was fit until you would make you be like, do I take my panties off this way or this way? These days, it's like, oh, let me put them on. Let me put a lock. Let me lock it on up. It varies, because they got some new school R&B that I like a lot. Shout out to Bryson Tiller. But then you got things like Joe to see, Aaron Hall, so many others. You know. Old school, all day. You can't even compare it, because it's about love. We got to love our women. We got to make sure we got the right songs, the right vibe. I got to go old school. Well, I, I'm going to go like 99 to like 2010. Like that era is crazy. What do you think is the difference between that era of R&B and the R&B of today's day and age? You couldn't fake it, man. No auto-tune to, to, ca to catch you, you know what I'm saying? So you couldn't get caught with that auto-tune, so you had to really have them chops. And, you know, something left to the imagination. You know, when the light's off, cool, but when the light's on, let me let me think about what's happening. Old school, easily. It's more of a feel, it's more of an energy you can connect, you can feel the vibe, you feel the music flowing through your body. Old school, for sure. For sure, same. What's the biggest with old school R&B, you can really feel that pain. Like, I knew they was really going through something for real. These days, I be like, I don't know. Cause you know, people be ghost writing and stuff too. So it's like, did you even write that? And the guys used to be begging. The girls used to be talking about, I'm better than you. You may have had them once, but I got them all the time. We're going old school R&B for sure. What's the difference for you? The feeling. I don't think that love is expressed the way that it used to be, nor do I think connection is expressed through music like it used to be. I'm talking about mental connection, not physical. Old school. Uh, I mean, the vibe, the energy. It was just, a, 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 I think, a better time in music. Old school, always, always, always. The love is ain't lovering anymore. People were in love. People were in love in the, in the 90s and the early 2000s. Men used to cry for their women. Old school. Come on now. New R&B is a little explicit. You know what I'm saying? They gonna, yes. tell, like, they gonna tell you everything. And I felt like old school R&B, they left a little bit more to the imagination. You know, it's a little bit more classy. Who are some new school R&B artists that you're listening to and enjoying these days? New school R&B artists that I enjoy. I love SZA. I like Summer Walker a lot as well. I love Tim's. Mr. Rebo. Mr. Rebo. I mean, it's Chris Brown because he's like almost, I like Summer Walker. There's so many new people that are coming out. Love Summer Walker. I think she got it. And Jasmine Sullivan. I mean, she kind of in the middle. She's still new, but she's not new. Lucky Day. Uh, Brent. Brent is just one of the ones. Like, just the vibe, the energy. If you lay back, you play her, you cool, he gonna give you that vibe. You get 
what I'm saying? I love Lucky Day. Of course, Victoria Monet. Coco Jones. We got to give it to Coco. I'm going to have to say Summer Walker every time. Janae, Brent is a hometown hero. I love Chris, man. I don't think he can lose in life. I think he's been so blessed overcoming all the things. Brent Fiaz, Giveon, Sabrina, uh, SZA, Summer Walker. We know a little something. I love Summer Walker. I think she's incredible. SZA is doing amazing. Shout out Asha, who is not just old school, but also new school. SZA, she's phenomenal. Lucky day. Bryson Tiller. I like them. Who's your queen of R&B, though? Mary J. All day, every day. All That's day. a New York but, but, however, you can never take anything from the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, Shaka Khan, Whitney. I mean, I don't even know what you call. She's, she's like the empress of all things music. Mary J. Blige is like the, it's her crown right now. Like queen of R&B. I'm going to give her her flowers, even though I feel like a lot of people don't give it to her. Queen. I'm a YouTuber, so I give it a queen. Queen B. Beyonce. If we're talking about people that are alive, for sure, Beyonce. Aretha used to give the girls a rim for their money. Of course it's Beyonce. I'm a Beyonce fan too, but like Mariah Carey is one of one, still making the hits. She has to still stay with Mary J. Not because of anything else other than she's still winning. It's like my outfits. I know they're tired of me all these years. You know, like these, all these years later, I know they're tired. Mary, she's not going anywhere. Could I say Lauren Hill? Absolutely. I would like to say Lauren Hill. That's mother. Aretha Franklin. Because I feel like if it wasn't for her, like she definitely really planted those seeds. She's at the root and the soul of R&B music. So I'm going to take it back to Aretha. Who's the king of R&B? My favorite right now is Giveon. I love Friday. Chris Brown is, he's the crossover. He's what everything. My man Breezy be pushing these R&B be dudes around whenever he feels like it. They be trying to hate on him, but his shows be packed out to the parking lot. His dance moves is ill like Mike Jack. Well, he's a god, man. That's you know? a good one. If we talking about vocals, man, this is what I would have said. But here's the thing. You can't mess with, with young girls. You can't mess with teenagers. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, his crown got to get removed. Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going like Teddy P. Do you put Chris Brown in the mix? Of course. The king of R&B is Usher, but Michael Jackson. Pop! He's yeah, pop. pop. That's your answer, that's your answer, okay. I'm gonna have to agree with her, Usher, but Chris Brown is right behind him. Chris Brown is right behind him. Yeah, gotta go to Chris Brown. He's just, he's unmatched when it comes to vibes, the energy, the music, club. I will have to give it to Asha. U.S. H-E-R. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, I like that. Y'all gonna be mad. Don't say it. Chris Brown. Okay, okay. okay. I thought you had. Oh, no, 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 I was thinking that. That was the first one that came to mind. Who do you think makes the best love songs? Usher, I like that Confession album. That was a great great album good yearning album because it wasn't really like love love but it was like i f***ed up and i want you back it was a lot luther luther i don't want to sing because it's gonna be bad if, if this world would mind <laughs> shout out to the wood that is yeah. one of the best soundtracks that is the one best love songs party like low-key toxic party next door love songs i don't know i'm more like a player love song type of guy you know what i'm saying like yeah brent is like player love songs you get what i'm saying when i get in my bag of like listening to old school r&b i always Always pull up like a 112 song or a genuine song. My whole life has changed. Differences was played at all the weddings. All the weddings. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give a new school and an old school. Okay. Well, kind of new school, cause Jagged Edge ain't really like new new school. Yeah. They a little old school. Well, I'm gonna give a real real old okay. school. Osley Brothers. Okay. Come back to you. Yeah, I hear the vocals. Jasmine Sullivan who? LTD Love Ballad, one of the best love songs ever made. Teddy Pendergrass, all of them. Love I was you. just listening to um, You're My Latest. My latest, my greatest inspiration. You gotta let that yeah. breathe. What's the song? <laughs> this what I did today. <laughs> Those was the words. I, yeah, I love it, I love it. Shout out to the vocals, you hear it, you hear it. I love boys to men. I love boys to men. I think they have amazing music. I like Motown. I like old school R&B. I want those real deep. Marvin Gaye. Mic drop, What's Marvin Gaye. Favorite? Let's get it on is a good one. What's going on is a good one. Anything Marvin Gaye is classic. What about on the opposite side, on the freak nasty? Who you putting on to set the mood? Oh, he's somebody gonna match my freak. <laughs> Sexy, what you know? <laughs> I've been having a lot going on with the party album, so I'm going no chill. Okay, I'm low key a party next door hater these days, Why? so like I can't get jiggy with it. Old party next door, solid. The 
music hit this project I couldn't fuck with it it was really gimmicky and then he's on this king of R&B run I can't get jiggy t-shirt and my panties on Miss Adina Howard always kept it real nasty a real freak I'm gonna have to go with silk like I'm trying to get deep in my yeah I'm trying to get deep in my bag they didn't have a long <laughs> career but they had good songs yeah I'm a Scorpio and I'm light-skinned so I'm all about spooky yeah 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 very <laughs> Scorpio in October Scorpio not November I won't tie you up and leave you for days um but I feel <laughs> There's not enough nasty, like, in the sense of sensuality. There's a lot I'm gonna fuck the shit out you and I eat your ass, but there's not enough wordplay in getting to eating the ass or eating some. You know what I'm saying? Freak me, baby. <laughs> you know what song that is? I wanna lick you and down. Freak nasty, genuine. I was gonna say pony, but I don't know, people. You shouldn't fuck to pony. I don't think that's a Song. Honestly, I can't think of anything because I've not had sex in ages. So honestly, the playlist is really like it's catching dust at the moment. I'll be very not honest. the cobwebs. Bro. It's catching cobwebs. Honestly, Chris Brown because he does everything. You know what I'm saying? If you want to fun in the morning, hey. you, you know what I'm saying? If I said powerhouse vocals, who comes to mind? It's like Whitney Houston or something like. I'm thinking Jasmine Sullivan up there. What about on the men's side? Luther Vandross. Mm, you know a little something. You're a rapper, rapper, but you know a little something. Jasmine powerhouse vocals goes crazy. The queen herself, Whitney Houston. On the men's side, I'm a big fan of like KC from Jodeci. There's that pain in the vocals, okay. you know what I mean? Well, besides myself, <clears throat> Jasmine Sullivan, she has one of the most powerful, unique voices you will ever hear. Never off key. Maybe I'm a little biased because I'm from Houston, but you know I gotta say Beyonce. I have to. Jasmine. There's a lot of amazing women artists, but I think Jasmine is a beacon for the necessary feelings that have to come with music. I love Jasmine Sullivan. She's phenomenal. I'm just gonna say Jasmine Sullivan off the top of my head. She's amazing. What's an R&B album that you can listen to, no skips, front uh, to back? Jodeci. First one. Period. Miss Education, Lauryn Hill. Even though that's kind of nope. rap R&B, but I, yeah, yeah, because that just speaks to my soul. Erica Badu, both her albums, both of the uh, the first two albums, Baduism and then um, her second album with Bag Lady on it. Y'all know what it is. Help us out, chat. Party. Which album? Album though. Don't say this most recent one because you lying. One. I You're swear lying. to God. It's a soundtrack. Waiting to Excel soundtrack. Yeah. It's Ache them like they used they to. Don't. You know what's another one that's up there? Problematic. But Love and Basketball? Hello. Come on now. When Doves Cry. I'm sorry, Purple Rain. Let's do it over. 5, 4, 3, 2. When Doves Cry is not the name of that. 5, 4, 3, 2. Purple Rain. Front to back. Confessions. Front to back. Kaleidoscope. Dreams. Miguel. Front to back. Probably Confessions. Yeah. Does the Miss Education on Lauryn Hill count? Absolutely. Okay, that one. Yeah, I like that. Yeah.